hello all welcome to my youtube channel let's move on to the last part of this uh, tutorial series which is how to uh, launch a wordpress website in amazon ec2 instance on a free tier so um, so we have successfully completed till uh, lamp server part installation now we are going to download and unzip wordpress package into our ec2 instance first step is ensure that you are still logged in into the ec2 instance if not pause this video and then uh, log into your instance and then run the below command so uh, this will download the wordpress package into our ec2 instance in the next step we are going to unzip the package now when i when i do ls it says uh, the latest wordpress file is here i'm gonna unzip that now when I do list again, it says WordPress has been successfully unzipped. Now what you can do is remove this uh, latest zip file. And then now we just have the WordPress folder in our instance. Now let's move on to the next step, which is we have to create a database user and uh, create a database for our WordPress installation to do that. Uh, you have to ensure that we are we are on a Amazon Linux 2 instance type So let us copy the first command since we are using MariaDB and then Start the SQL server MariaDB server uh, This command is not for us because it is focused for Amazon Linux version 1 which is the older version so now in the second step we are going to log into the root server so um, we have created a password you uh, we have created a password in the previous series so copy paste that password over here once you paste the correct password you will be logged in into the uh, MariaDB server so i'll show you the steps again so what we have to do is we have to give this my sql hyphen new root hyphen p command and then hit enter it will ask for your password which is uh, what we have created in the previous tutorial please check that and then come back here paste the password and then hit enter button so now we are into the MariaDB server uh, once we are there we are going to create a WordPress user and then uh, also going to set a strong password so to do that I'm gonna let me copy paste the command here um, so no, not required actually let me delete this file um, I'm gonna copy paste the command over here and then so we have this your strong password right we have to replace this with a strong password uh, and then we also have to give our user a proper name so I'm gonna give RMI user and for the password I'm gonna go to the link suggested by Amazon uh, please click on that link and then once you have the password paste that over there and then click on enter button uh, Once you run that command with a strong password uh, You can see query okay zero rows affected um, one important thing which they uh, Suggest us to do is so this is where I copied my password from um, This generates a random password every time so uh, please make use of that uh, once so they, they have recommended us not to use a single quote in the password because it will uh, break the preceding command so ensure your uh, the random password which you generate doesn't have a single quote in it now we are going to create a database in the MariaDB server let's just give a proper DB name I'm gonna name it rmidb then hit enter so my db has been created 
I'm gonna grant all the permissions to my user which is rmi user rmi and my db name is rmi and hit enter so now my steps are done i'm gonna run the last final command flush the privileges and then exit the db now that we have completed the database user creation and database creation part let's move on to the next file which is we have to create a wp config file um, so, so this wordpress install directory already has a sample config file we are going to create a new file out of that so for that we are going to run this command which is copy the sample file into a new file which is wp-config.php um, I have to go back one directory and then paste it okay now I have this wp-config.php file now I'm gonna edit this file and then uh, make some changes to it which is we are going to add the db name my db name is rmi-db remember I hope you remember your db name user and the password which you used um, Um, so we are going to set uh, the WordPress DB, WordPress user and uh, paste the strong password which we have created. Uh, keep a backup of all the passwords which you have generated. So let's go ahead and then uh, edit that file. Ensure that you are still logged in into the EC2 instance. Let us edit that file. I'm going to use Vim editor. So my file is there in, inside so I'm going to edit the WP config.php file so this is where we have to give the database name which is uh, once you are here you have to click on I button I, I uh, my DB name is rmi-db my user name is rmi-user um, I'm gonna pass the video here and then enter my password I can do that later actually and then uh, once we come down you can see that uh, there is this whole new section which needs a data from us so what we are going to do is use the link which is provided by Amazon let us open that in a new tab so uh, so you'll see a range of values over here you have to copy paste all these values there um, and then once you paste it here you can go ahead and then Yeah, you can go ahead and save the file. Uh, to, to save the file, what we have to do is hit escape button and then colon WQ and then exclamatory mark that will save the file. I'll pass the video here and then get back to you after saving my file. In the next video we'll be uh, seeing how to complete the final steps and then launch the wordpress installation thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel